Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload and use Abdul underscore warrior in the Fortnite item shops. Thank you. In this video, I am reviewing the Thrasher SMG. This SMG is a weapon that focuses primarily on its fire rate, has decent damage, very quick reload time and doesn't shoot all that far. It's better you're very close if you want to do the damage. This weapon is one of those old weapons that can't have double crit damage. Instead, the second crit damage perk will be 45% damage to whatever you want, either afflicted targets or slowed and snared targets. After the first bullet, which will snare the enemies, you're going to get 45% damage more off this weapon, which is going to be almost 12,000 based on my stats. So, you're going to be doing 12,000 multiplied by your 410% crit rating if you're using the loadout I'm using. Comparing this to one of the all-time favorites like the Hemlock SMG, which is one of the best, this weapon isn't that bad. The Hemlock has all the exact same perks except the crit damage and this weapon has more impact, more reload time, higher fire rate, but the Hemlock has higher critical rating and higher critical damage and even higher damage but when you have the slowed and snared added the other weapon will have the thrasher will have more damage but the hemlock has the bonus of having 135 percent more damage well more crit damage which is a lot now we're going to the loadout i'm going to go with the loadout that has like has the potential of bringing out the most in this weapon i'm going with Tactical Assault Sledgehammer as my main for 225% additional crit damage. Assault damage which gives me 17% more damage with Assault weapons. Subwafers for my Totally Rocking Out Team perk. Starred up so I get 1% extra damage per bullet I fire until I reload. Bats would be for my Totally Rocking Out Team perk. And Mad Tidings so I get 1% um, extra range weapon damage as I fire. Also, I use the Totally Rocking Out Team perk so I get 160 critical rating whenever I have the Rocking Rift buff which is like a crit all the time for a few seconds. This is gameplay of me using the build to bring out its potential. Hmm, 44,000 that's not that bad. Sixty two, seventy seven, eighty. This is with the rocking rift buff. It's not that bad. It's faring better than I thought it would. I'm in a level 140 mission all alone. No additional buffs from any allies alone, and it's doing pretty well. There's not too much bloom, it's quite accurate. If you're um, a beginner, or a low level in this game and you don't have many good weapons you should get this it's actually pretty good it's holding its own in a level 140 mission okay I found the smasher that's great using it against this hmm. it's not that bad actually and it's quite fun to use That's one, okay. Well, that's like one clip. Two clip. Three clip. About three clips to finish a level 140 smasher. That's not so bad, but that's not good either. If it had a fifth crit damage perk, no, if it had a second crit damage perk, I'm sure it would do a lot better but it doesn't so I'm reviewing the weapon based on what it has now it's quite okay actually and the snaring the husks it's actually pretty useful makes them go slower now while trying not to use other abilities I am going to do this level 140 storm chest uh, 
I just had to shock you because of the shoulder. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It might not be end game, but this weapon is quite decent. Hmm, we managed to clear that quite decently. For me to be able to hit a taker with so many shots, the bloom is quite the bloom is manageable. Like it's not out of the ordinary. This is the kind of weapon that I use a lot of hip fire for because it's very close ranged. Now we're going to use this weapon normally without any buffs or anything improving or bringing out its potential like you're using another class another build this is a build i normally run as a constructor so i'm going to use this weapon as a constructor without like any buffs or anything to see how it would be if i'm using my main build all right great i see two smashes one physical one nature time to test this out well i'll use my slow field Try to get rid of the small fry first. This electro pulse is actually quite strong. 21,000. So you see, there's no like extra crit damage. The 225% from tactical is gone. 22,000. And it's not all the time to a smasher. That's not good at all. It's gonna take me like 8 clips to, to finish this guy. Now let's try the nature smasher. That's not good at all. Now that I see it, I wouldn't use this weapon if I am not as a tactical sledgehammer. If you're somebody that likes to play tactical sledgehammer or like a main for assault weapons, you can use this weapon. It will be fun. But if you want to be practical in this game, I would not suggest you use this weapon in high level missions without you know somebody buffing the weapon because it's very weak because of the lack of crit damage and crit damage is what you need in high end twine and late game or else your weapons will just be hitting the husks and not doing anything as you can see from this from that i would say i would not like using this weapon in high level missions if i'm not a soldier I would suggest using other SMG like SMGs like the Hemlock. It has good fire rate, good damage, and you can have double crit damage on it. So guys, that's all I have to say about this weapon. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, if you're low level, you're still needing weapons, get this weapon. It's a good start. It is a good start. But for high level, no. It's a no. Alright guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year. Have a good holiday. Peace out.